the people who, that live here in Seville, the majority are farm labor workers, uh, working out in the fields, putting food in everyone's table around the world. The first test that the county uh, put out for our, our water system was that uh, the results was that we had high levels of nitrates. And of course people back then were saying, well, what are nitrates? What, what is it? You know, does it, does it smell? Does it have a funny taste? Or does it look dirty or what? And nobody really knew what, what the nitrates was or what it looked like. Uh, not till after the fact that Community Water Center started coming to our community and educating us about different, different uh, contaminations. But there's no taste and no smell. I mean, if you see it, it's clear, appealing, beautiful water. My husband and I, uh, we spend about um, 40 to 45 dollars on bottled water that's used for cooking and drinking and uh, making our coffee and tea. And that's every month. And our tap water that comes out of our faucet that we can't use, uh, we pay sixty dollars. So sixty and forty-five. That's over a hundred dollars a month that we spend. And that's just my husband and I, two of us in our family. So I'm very frugal with my water because it's very valuable and it costs a lot of money. Sometimes uh, I can hear twenty-four hours a, a day. Uh, them spraying, you know, in the middle of the night, you can hear the the farmers pouring fertilizer, you know, through our our crops. And you know, for a farm working um, person that works out in the field, uh, it's a big chunk out of their income to buy a bottle of water. And I'm sure there's a lot of them that don't buy drinking water. Their only solution is just to drink it which is really sad because they shouldn't have to make a choice of whether they have to buy it or use it.